Lee jin may have gotten a later start to acting than many professional actors, but he has never let that stand in his way. Since making his acting debut in 2004, he has become one of South Korea's most talked about celebrities and earned international recognition as well. He used to be very private about his personal life, but now he is more open since he created his own social media account. Check out these 10 things you probably didn't know about Lee jin -ug. He studied environmental engineering. Lee jin -ug was born September 16, 1981, in Cheongju, South Korea. Before getting into acting, he was on a very traditional path. He was studying environmental engineering at Cheongju University and had plans to work in the field after graduation. However, he eventually decided that he wanted to pursue a career in the entertainment industry and he left school early. He started his career as a model. After leaving school, he took his first step into the industry by taking a modeling gig and things quickly took off for him from there. He appeared in a print ad for Panasonic in 2003 and then made his acting debut the following year. He once said in an interview, as a child, my parents told me I had so many different facial expressions and now that I am grown up, I can see that it's beneficial to be able to display diverse expressions. He doesn't spend a lot of time deciding on projects. Deciding which projects to take can be a very challenging experience for an actor. After all, one bad role can send someone's career in the wrong direction. Lee jin -ug doesn't like to spend too much time overthinking which roles he should take. He shared that he doesn't spend more than 24 hours thinking about whether a role is right for him. He ran so fast that he had to slow down while filming Voice. In the second and the third season of a hit drama Voice, he starred as a dispatch team leader and stubborn detective Du Kang-u. Acting as a detective, he often did criminal chase scenes. Lee jin ran so fast that it overwhelmed his co-stars who were being chased. He shared, if I had to tell you the story, my running was so fast that I kept on catching the robbers. They were like, I think I'm dying, so can't you run a little slower? He doesn't call his co-stars real names on the filming set. As you watch your favorite actors in film or TV, it seems effortless, right? But, in reality, there is so much hard work that goes into the process. After all, charisma can only get you so far. Talking about his technique of portraying his character, he shared that he doesn't call other actors by their real names on the filming set. He told Showbiz Korea, I don't call them by their names on the filming set and in private. I call them by their character names and treat them like their roles. Then, we become a lot more comfortable when acting. I believe it would help others as well. I believe they can concentrate on their characters. He has a big gap between his characters in real life. Lee jin -ug garnered attention fairly early with his white and bright calf eyes, heart swooning smile, and mesmerizing voice. But almost all of his characters in recent years, he appeared with the image of a strong manly man who is able to face anything for what he wants, including in terms of action. According to his Sweet Home co-stars, Lee jin -ug has so many gaps between his character and real life. They said that he is soft-hearted. Although he appears tough, he gets scared easily. Lee si young even mentioned while laughing, on the outside, he's an action star. Inside, he's a pathetic character from a romance movie. Lee jin -ug also said that he hates scary things, so he doesn't watch horror movies. He has a collection of sneakers. There are lots of people who believe that no outfit is complete without the right pair of shoes, and Lee jin -ug would agree. In his case, however, sneakers are the kind of shoes he prefers. In addition to matching sneakers with his favorite outfits, he also has a pretty solid sneaker collection. He's a sneaker enthusiast. He had previously posted an image of his impressive sneaker collection which became a hot topic amongst his fans. The actor remarked on that by saying, I built up my collection for a long time, and collecting sneakers is one of my biggest pleasures. He's great at cooking curry. Many celebrities are well known for their cooking skills. Some are even certified chefs, while others are casual cooks who prepare delicious meals for their friends and family just for fun. While talking about his favorite food, Lee jin -ug said to Esquire, I like curry. I make a really good curry. My friends always tell me that my curry is the best curry they ever had in their life. When asked what the secret of his delicious curry is, he said that he doesn't go cheap on ingredients and his curry would be so expensive to sell in a restaurant. He isn't afraid to make mistakes. Here's your much needed reminder about whatever you might be going through, nobody has life solved, nobody has it perfect. 
It's always, always, a work in progress, and you're always figuring it out. It doesn't matter who you are now. Mistakes are a part of life, but unfortunately, people often let their fear of making mistakes hold them back from doing great things. Lee jin does his best to make sure he doesn't fall into that trap. He told K-Drama Diary, there is no life in this world without mistakes and failures. The attitude and method of accepting it and moving to the next step are important. His Ideal Type On NBC program section TV Entertainment Relay in 2014, he was asked some questions including his ideal type. He specifically described the type of hair he likes in his ideal woman. He said, more than a short-haired one, I like women with long hair. It would be even better if her hair is tied. 